Hi. Oh, I'm very, very excited about this story. Did you ever see? And I'm excited about it for so many reasons. Hi, I'm Miss M. And, and those of you, if you're just tuning in, but this is the first story ever. Gosh, I hope you go back and watch some other ones. I talk with a lot of exclamation points and we have a lot of fun. This story is specifically recorded for my INDLS fabulous first graders, but it is for anyone to enjoy and listen to a great story and a read aloud by moi. And sometimes our kitty cat Mia joins us, but now she's asleep. All right, so the story that I'm going to read today is for the lesson 9.4 on your OLS literature and comprehension, my fabulous Fabulosi Fabulas. All right, so it is in this book, which we've been in for a little bit. Ready, set, read. And so those of you that have done this before, you know the drill. What you're going to do is you're going to pause this video and you're going to go get that book. Oh, I'm sorry, Mia. Oop, I touched her. I woke her up. So please, if you haven't already, pause the video and go get the book. Por favor, please. Hajime, go get out of here. Get. Mia is my girl. We have so much fun. I love my students and hope they're not. You're watching me, aren't you? We've had this conversation before. When you sneak up on me in the middle of singing, when I think you have the video paused and going and getting the book. I love you. Okay. Here we are. So we're in Ready, Set, Read, and we are looking for Did You Ever See? Can anybody remember where can I look if I don't know what page I'm on? Well, I can look in OLS, but I hear it. I hear it. One of you, at least, is saying, look in the contents. Miss M, look in the contents. That's right. Well, I don't see it on the first page, so I'm going to keep moving, and I'm looking for the word did, duh, duh, did, and I see it on the third page. And it's on page 130, 130. We're going to go towards the back of the book. All right, flippity, flippity, flippity. Oh, these are so much fun. Are you looking at the other pages? Oh, I just want to stop and read them all. But we got to read one thing right now. Okay. Did you ever see? Now, we might go through this twice. Because guess what? You've heard me say this before. You can do this. You can do this, especially if you listen to me read it and look at the pictures, then you're going to feel more confident about trying to read it yourself. Now, the first picture, I see a piggy playing a, maybe an accordion and, and has some hair on top of his head moving. And then on 131, I see an animal, maybe an elk, a gazelle, a goat with sunglasses and a boat speeding along, having a great time. I also see mice, mice, no, they're mice. And what are they doing? They're wearing ice skates? Look at the earmuffs and the, I like that. Turn the page. Oh my gosh. I see a cat. What? What's a cat wear? It's rhyming. What is the cat wearing? You know. What's a cat holding? Oh my gosh, guess what? You're already reading this and we haven't even looked at the words yet. You definitely put on your thinking caps today. And I bet some of you, for, for double duty, even put on your smarty pants. I know, and it's getting cold outside. Looking at the bottom, okay, I see a, I see an animal in green. He looks like he's on a piece of wood, and is he in, is he in a cloud? I don't know. I bet some of you already know. Okay, look. Oh no, I see something that looks like I don't know. He's big old, big old oval. Is he? Is he rock, a stone? I, I don't know. And he's sitting on a wall, and then he's trying to catch a, catch a maybe a baseball. And uh oh. It looks like he took a tumble. The page. Oh, that's it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <gasps> okay. Ready? Follow along with me. And I love it when I can hear you helping me out. And this is one of those stories, kiddos. You have it. Remember, what do we do every day? I got this. And those of you, last week, if, if that was the right time, but recently we saw a hedgehog that said, you got this. You got this. All right? You can do it. Okay. Did you ever see, page 130, a pig in a, that's right, a wig do the 
jig. A jig is dancing. All right, so look at that again. I bet you can say it. A pig in a wig do the j jig. That's right. That was kind of fun, wasn't it, to say and look at the picture. Now look on page 131. I bet you already know some of this ready. A, go a goat in a, what is he wearing? A c c coat go in a, what is he driving? A b b boat. A goat in a coat go in a boat. I know, see, and it's way more fun if you say it and you move all around. Guess what? That O-A in goat, coat, and boat. When two vowels go walking, that's right, the first one does the talking. The poor A doesn't get to talk, but the O, G, O, T, K, O, T. You're right, B, O, T, and they rhyme. Let's look at the bottom. Oh, my goodness. Mice on ice. Don't they look nice? Look at the question mark. And this is where the mama E makes the I say its name. I, 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 M, I, S, I, S, N, I, S. You know we're going to go back and read this again. Turn the page. You, you got this one. A cat with a, what? Oh my gosh, I can already hear you. With a bat in a big red. Some of you, you already read it too fast. In a big red hat. You're right, you're right. Now look at the bottom one. Oh, a frog on a, what is he sitting on? That's right, look at the word. Log in a, that's not cloud. Fog, that's right. A frog on a log in a fog. Oh boy, look at the last one. An egg, oh, so it's not a rock or a stone. An egg on a wall. I see the word all in there. Wall, catch. Okay, that's a tough one. Cat, ch, catch. We see the word cat in there. Cat, ch, catch. A ball. It rhymes with wall. Oh no. And th then, what's he doing? Fall. I have not seen any of that. Have you? Okay, now we're going to go back and I'm going to read it all the way through. Okay? Page 130. Did you ever see a pig in a wig do the jig? Question mark. A goat in a coat go in a boat? Mice on ice, don't they look nice? They're asking a question. That's why there's a question mark. Turn the page. A cat with a bat in a big red hat, a frog on a log in a fog, an egg on a wall, catch a ball, and then fall. You got this. You always do. You got this. Good job. Make sure you read it through a couple times because you know what? That also makes you feel good when you're like, I can read this. Watch the endings of the words. Pig, wig, goat, boat. All right? Te amo. I love you. Do your personal best. That's all I ever ask. And I'd love you even if you didn't. Hasta luego.